Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video we're going to talk about graphic user interface or GUI uh, that has hot in it, uh, it has menu, it has buttons and all of that. So without any further ado, let's begin. So there is two ways to create or hot or text on or a screen or buttons or hot or GUI stuff in Unreal Engine 5. One of them is to go to game mode and in here create a hot class in your uh, for your content drawer. Create a hot class and after you create your hot class, set it in here and Unreal Engine will use that hot class for user interface, right? This is the old way of doing it, but there is a better way to do it. Let's just close this game mode in here. We don't want to do that with game mode, okay? If you follow my video you know that I always teach both of the old way and new way of creating stuff for example the atmosphere the clothes the lights there is always an old way a new way that is better and more realistic okay this time there is an old way and new way as well so the new way that you can create your hot buttons text or your GUI is to go to content drawer and create a widget class okay if you right click in here go to user interface you can create a widget blueprint okay and because this is a blueprint widget i want to call it bpw for blueprint widget okay uh, this is the naming con convention that i use and i want to call it hot for example okay and save it and now when we open it you can see it give us this widget editor that it make our life very much easier you can do animation in here you can do uh, for example button check boxes images text you can do a lot with it and it's visually and it's easy to do it's the best way to do user interface or hot or GUI in Unreal Engine 5 okay so now that we have this widget that we create let's just add some text to it okay by just dragging and dropping you can add text to it okay let's just put it up here and know that everything is set up save it compile it and let's just put this tab in here so we have both of them now i want to show this hot in our game right so go to content drawer and open up your character class or pawn class or whatever class that you are using for your character so open up your character class if you follow my videos you know that we create our own character okay we create our own player controller or player um, character and we set it in game mode we create our own custom game mode okay in the last video we did talk about taking damage we don't need to do anything with that we just uh, we want to work with graphic user interface right so let's just zoom in a little bit in here what I want to do I want to add our widget that we create in here to our character okay so our character can show the widget right so right click in here let's just create a begin play node in here okay and with that drag and drop from this execution pin and you need to do it once and after that you just go to your widget editor and edit add text boxes add buttons and everything should work fine okay so in here just search for create widget okay so with this node we create our own widget how you can just choose the class that you want to create okay so you can see that the widget that we create is in here so select it and it will create our widget class for us and it call it bpw that we set the name in here and bpw hot for example okay and after that you create the widget you should add it to the character okay how you can do it just drag and drop from this execution pin and say add to viewport okay and with this note you can add this widget that we create to our viewport okay so let's just connect this to our target and everything should work fine and now if we compile and save and run our game no you can see a text is in here okay and everything we have a simple hot okay uh, instead of this we, we could create a help bar we could add a button that we click on and we will talk about all of this in details in another video so don't worry about that i just want to um, explain to you a step by step all the details for this widget okay so let's just stop the game and comment this out and i want to call it my widget okay and now everything is readable and it's okay and we know what the, what this section is doing right now if we go to our um hard in here we can just uh, add whatever we want in it for example a button in here let's just put it in here or add the progress bar in here and everything is working fine and we don't need to write any more code and if we run our game now you can see that um 
the button is here and we can click on it you can see it the progress bar is in here and our text block is here as well okay so you can do all of this by dragging and dropping uh, to this widget editor and for example in this progress bar if you click on it there are some details in here and with these details uh, we can change the percentage of this uh, progress bar for example for a health bar right so if we increase this you can see it it's beautiful right so let's just compile and run our game and you can see it it's looking cool and it's just by dragging and dropping and the important question is how we can change this in blueprint the thing that i should tell you that this widget blueprint has a graph as well okay so you can see it has blueprint in it okay so we can uh, for example if a button press we can get the event of that and in top uh, right corner again we, we can go to designer again for example click on this you can change the color of it and you can change the font you can do a lot with it and i will uh, explain all of these in details how you can change the percentage of these in blueprint how you can get the event of a uh, button click in here oh we can change the text of this um, in blueprint and all of that this video is just for a introduction and in future videos i will talk about all of these in details a step by a step so please subscribe to my channel and please if you like this video hit that like button it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye